I've never seen anything like it, personally. It's kind of a little bit like the internet, but it's just, as I said, faster paced and actually larger in scope, which sounds crazy, but it is because it accrues value itself to these protocol layers. Mm -hmm. So there's this massive value accretion that comes. So if I compare where we are now, call it a trillion dollars of asset valuation in, in digital assets, well, almost all the traditional asset markets are two to 300 trillion each. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get there in probably 10 to 15 years. I mean, this will be the fastest accumulation of value the world has ever seen. Mm -hmm. Fastest and largest. Bigger than oil, bigger than the internet. It's just, a, it's a very, very different thing. It's, it's, it's quite the phenomena. So the point being is as soon as the macro clears up, everybody from you guys, I mean, we already see Meta are moving further along, faster than launching stuff. Yeah. Everybody's gonna launch. And everybody's yeah. going to be putting capital. And don't forget, like you guys and everybody else, everybody's investing in VC in this space already. So mm -hmm. everyone's going to first look, what's happening? Where is it going? How do we get involved? So the VC money of $60 billion that went in in the last 18 months, because of the speed of the cycle in crypto, we're going to see a whole lot of products and new changes and new innovations coming uh, in the next six to 12 months and we'll move the whole narrative forward exponentially yet again. This week, Bitcoin's price has perked up with a surge to $21,000 on October 26. This led a handful of traders to proclaim that the bottom might be in or that Bitcoin is entering the next phase of some technical structure like Wyckoff, a range break or some sort of support resistance flip. Hello and welcome to Money Talks. In today's video, CEO of Real Vision and global macro investor Raul Paul updates about his macroeconomic outlook on cryptocurrencies, mainly Bitcoin, rising inflation and increasing interest rates and his thoughts about the brewing financial crisis. Make sure to stick around till the end of this video where Raul Paul reveals why the next 6 to 12 months will be crucial for Bitcoin. We've now got a system where the government's, well, the central bank is, is, is helping support this very indebted system, which almost went bankrupt. We then get to 2012 and the worst case scenario starts to happen, which is Europe and mm -hmm. these giant sovereigns. I mean, Italy was the fifth largest economy in the world at the time, almost went bust. I did Spain, which was the eighth largest economy. Mm -hmm. So 2012, we have this massive financial crisis in Europe based on governments almost going bust. So again, the ECB now start printing money as well. So the only solution to servicing this gigantic debt load is printing more money, which drives even more debt as yields go down. So now we've got a situation where the world is about 400% of GDP in debt. The US is 100% of world GDP in debt. It's the most indebted economy the world has ever seen. So when you've got a very indebted economy, if you raise interest rates on people, it hurts fast. Mm -hmm. And that's what's happening right now. We've got a world where we are so sensitive to rises in interest rates that it's very difficult to control economies. And central banks don't really have many interest rates. We talk about a lot of interest rate rises, but you know, we're not even at 3% yet. So it's yeah. barely, barely anywhere. So we've got ourselves in this very fragile system where anything can break it. And governments everywhere, we've just seen it with the UK, we've seen it with Japan, everyone's trying to paper over the cracks mm -hmm. to try and stop this thing falling apart. Because if it does, it's the end of the entire financial system and most of the global government bond markets. So it's an extraordinary moment in time we're living through. And it was that, living through and predicting this in 2008 and 2012, was why in the end I realized I had to do something about it. Nearly a year into the Bitcoin bear market, most investors who bought the cryptocurrency in 2021 are facing heavy losses and look to be waiting for rallies to close their positions. Bitcoin has traded in the tightest US dollar range since late 2020, despite heightened volatility in other financial markets. This stability suggests some traders are buying dips below $18,500 to prevent BTC falling materially below its 2017 prior cycle high, the report said. When somebody tapped me on the shoulder in 2012 and said, have you looked at Bitcoin? 
I'd seen Bitcoin. I'm a macro guy. It's my job to see new assets as, as mm -hmm. they rise. And the moment I saw it and it explained to me how blockchain worked and what Bitcoin was itself, I sat down, thought about it, wrote the first ever macroeconomic strategy paper about Bitcoin in 2013 um, and looked at it versus gold. I said, well, if this is digital gold, so this is the new version of digital gold, and we can build the entire financial system rails on blockchain so we know who owns what, which is the key issue I saw at the massive global level. Okay, this is valuable. So I compared it to gold and got a valuation of a million bucks. Um, and Bitcoin was $200. <laughs> so I'm, like, I'm like, okay, this is the best reward you'll ever see in your entire life. So then I always discount myself for being an idiot. So I said, I'm I'm 90% an idiot, maybe 10% right. Right. <laughs> so let's assume that it's worth a hundred grand. Uh -huh. It's two hundred dollars. This is still the best reward, risk reward you'll ever see. So I bought it then. Um, and then I've been on that journey in crypto from Bitcoin, then seeing smart contracts rise, seeing how every contract even me coming today on the zoom is essentially a contract over email and you know speaking uh with you personally is like yes i will do that it's a contractual term every ticket every hotel room everything's a contract and then you start realizing oh my god this is all going on blockchain rails so not just the financial system not just a currency but basically every part of our digital world is going to end up on blockchain technology mm -hmm. and it's going to be a better way of doing things it's I kind of it. the final missing jigsaw of the internet. A record 78% of Bitcoin has not been used in transactions in the last six months, and the level is increasing according to the report. That implies investors who bought or received Bitcoin longer than six months ago are holding on to their positions, with some likely waiting for a recovery in price. Estimates suggest that for the remaining 22% of Bitcoin held by shorter-term investors, the average break-even price is slightly over $22,300, the note said. I think it was at Goldman when I learned really what the business cycle meant, which is the basis of how I look at the investing framework, um, along with secular cycles, the big picture view, where are things going over the longer term? And I was so lucky because in my desk at Goldman, the people I would speak to every day were the world's most famous hedge fund managers like Stan Druckenmiller and Paul Tudor Jones. Mm -hmm. And I get to see how they invested, how they thought about the world. And I would distill it down to my own opinions. And I started building out a framework of understanding of the business cycle and what drives economies and therefore how does that correlate to asset classes and can you predict them based on it mm -hmm. that understanding has worked all the way through in everything i've ever done the secular cycle and the business cycle all the way through to crypto now and even the businesses i'm building ether is now tracking equity markets more than bitcoin the note said Due to BTC's relative stability, some investors may be asking whether Ethereum's move to proof of stake has changed the trading dynamics for Bitcoin, because the Bitcoin blockchain does not limit access to certain market participants in the way that Ethereum now does. The transition, known as the merge, was the first of five upgrades planned for the Ethereum blockchain and involved the switch to a more energy-efficient consensus mechanism. So, do you agree with Raul Paul that next 6 to 12 months are crucial for Bitcoin adoption? Tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon with the next video. Thank you so much for watching.